Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of my Blue Jays MLB 14 The Show franchise mode. Once again, for those of you just tuning in previously on my Blue Jays franchise mode, uh, we're playing on PS4 and we're rolling with OSFM Hybrid Rosters version 2A. So, we had a pretty good month of April. May was still solid, but not quite as good. We still had, uh, we went into the end of April with a, I think, one game, one and a half game lead over the Red Sox in the race. We still have first, but the teams below us are catching up. And I'm pretty excited about this episode because you guys are going to get to see, uh, this is a big one. You get the draft and you get all of, I actually don't get all of you. You get the draft and you get our first gameplay episode, which is going to be an interleague game against the Cardinals. So, we're in the draft right now, as you can see, and we're just kind of scrolling through some of the guys we're looking at. I really wanted to get a lefty, a lefty starter, a lefty with basically solid velo, solid velocity. I don't know why I said velo. <laughs> Anyways, I liked Sam Levesque, but I felt like he was a guy we, we might be able to get in the second round, we ultimately end up going with Albert Sanchez, I believe. It was 93 potential, and it's he's pretty much a lock because he is a blue chip prospect, as you can see by the little blue uh, blue dot next to his name. And unfortunately for us, Sam Levac, the lefty who I had my eye on, gets taken, and we're kind of forced to look elsewhere here. So we look around. Todd Salazar is a, a guy I like. He's a lefty, good good ratings overall, he's going to be a starter, and he's got, I think, B potential or A potential, so that's that's always helpful. And Marcos Guerrero, you look at the, the power ratings here, he's a good fielder, he has a decent arm, it looks like he's, his arm's going to regress, and he's got decent speed right now, so if we can see his stock rise and his potential increase, I'm hoping he might be able to keep that speed and the arm strength, and he could be a pretty form formidable first baseman and maybe even play right field or something, uh, depending on what happens with uh, Jose Batista. So we end up taking Marcos Guerrero, and you see, we'll, we'll go, you'll see in a second, I, I go into a little bit more detail on, on our draft picks, but we have a pretty decent draft. I didn't get my, I didn't get my guy, Sam Levesque. Uh, I ended up getting a name, Albert Sanchez. Uh, that's about it. Anyway. He's going to be, hopefully, our, our ace of the future, along with Stroman and Sanchez, hard-throwing righty. Todd Salazar, he's also, sorry, my mistake, he's got 90 potential, so we got, we got two, and he's a lefty. So we did pretty well in the, the pitching front here, as we got two very, very solid front-of-the-line starters with very high potential, along with Marcos Guerrero, who's got pretty good ratings, and Oliver Correa. I believe is also a lefty, yeah. So we, we did pretty well on the pitcher front and uh, and, and added a lot of depth to our, our youth in the, the pitching area. We're going to need to improve on our infielders. That's something to look at next season probably, but I'm, I'm happy with how the draft turned out this season. So I hope you guys, if you guys have any comments on how to kind of groom these guys, I'd love to hear about them. But... That being said, we're going to turn now to the first gameplay footage of this franchise mode against the Cardinals at home, of course, at the Rogers Center. One, because it's the Rogers Center in glorious HD, uh, thanks to the developers at MLB The Show. You can see the screenshot icon showing that I took a picture of it uh, for you guys, and, and also because Roger Center it means DH, and I didn't really want to face the Cardinals with no DH. So, starters today, Michael Waka Waka and Brendan Morrow, both pitchers doing all right this season. Uh, Waka is, is got a sub-3 ERA, and he looks to continue off his solid rookie campaign last year. Brendan Morrow... Rolling with a 4-2-3 ERA, he's 3-5 and five this season, but he does have a uh, pretty good strikeout, a K per 9 innings uh, 
it's brought to us by stat numbers sorry guys it's it's early in the morning here he's got he's got 70 plus k's to his 66 innings pitched so at least his he's getting the strikeouts and we see he ends up cruising here for the most part he ends the first inning no runs allowed and we look at the starting lineup for the Jays and I, I mentioned I was gonna have Adam Lind in there like in real life batting fourth with Encarnacion hitting fifth and that's what we're gonna do today uh, against the righty here in, in Michael Waka Waka so Peter Bourgeois uh, pretty good rendering of him actually if you guys have seen him in real life uh, I don't know that looks that looks solid I really have to give these guys a lot of credit so uh, we don't really need to see our at-bat that inning as it, nothing really happened. And we see here the first run allowed by Brendan Morrow. He does he does get the out, but it's a sack fly scoring what looks like Johnny Peralta there to give the Cardinals a one nothing lead. But Joey Bats comes in and just hammers one off the wall to give him a double. He loses the helmet there, and he advances the runner from first to third. So we now... We have two runners in scoring position right now. And we're hoping to get back into this game as Adam Lynn comes up with two out in the third. Two and two. Facing Waka. He guesses the pitch and he guesses right. Goes opposite field and crushes that ball over the fence. It's a three-run blast for your boy Adam Lind. Way to go, buddy. I'm really proud of you. I wish you had your real-life beard there, but that's still pretty, pretty sick PS4 beard. So, Adam Lynn, yeah, yeah. John Gibbons, who doesn't look anything like his real-life self, is pretty happy with that. The Jays take a 3-1 lead off of Adam Lynn's opposite field home run as Morrow says, Thanks, guys. I'm going to keep on trucking. And he just cruises through here, striking out Alan Craig before Joey Bats with a runner on third. This looks like it could go. It doesn't, but the runner tags up, and Joey Bats grabbing a ribby here as the runner scores from third on the sack fly there. And he does his job. Melky gets another run. Brendan Morrow's day would be done here as... Neil Wagner comes in in the seventh. So pretty good game for Brandon Morrow. Neil Wagner ends up doing very well as he does his job, gets out of the inning safely, maintains the 4-1 to lead. Casey Jansen comes in for the ninth to get the save. Ooh, misses on that pitch. Hopefully he can come back here. Matt Holliday is a tough out to face. There's none out. He gets Holiday to pop up as, is that Tolly? I think that's Tolly. Makes the catch. Two out, two and two. Gets the ground out to Jose Reyes, and he makes the easy play to first as the Blue Jays get the victory. Yeah, Pete Walker, that is an excellent rendering. Jose Reyes, great rendering of his beard. And John Gibbons, the manager who was just bombarded with complaints last season, gets the victory against the very highly rated St. Louis Cardinals. Brandon Morrow will get the win, Neil Wagner with the hold, and Casey Jansen comes in, does his job oh so well, gets the save. We see him just bumping fists there with the team. Meiser is Tourist. Obviously still in our roster. And your player of the game today is going to be your boy, Brandon Morrow. Six and a third. One earned run. Six Ks, though. Very excited to get his post-game interview. This one's going to be with Shai Davidi, but not really because they don't have the Rogers Sportsnet license. But that, that would be sweet. Uh, Brandon Morrow, what do you think about that? Yeah, I played pretty well. I, I'm really happy with the 6Ks. Really had my really had my arm going today, so uh, really happy. Great game. We got the win, and uh, we hope to get the sweep here against the uh, against the Cardinals. So, Blue Jays win 4-1. We only had five hits, but that's all we needed. As Michael Walker was, you know, he was pretty good, but one mistake is all you need in baseball. So, almost. 
almost everybody getting a hit here. No, nah, that's not true, actually. Eddie, Eddie Encarnacion gets a walk, but he goes hitless for the game. Joey Bats and Adam Lind, the two guys with the ribbies, and Melky and Brett Laurie both getting stolen bases. They're third and second, respectively. So, the Blue Jays come out with a victory in our first gameplay episode of the game. Don't worry about the pitches there, and uh, of this franchise mode, excuse me. Don't worry about the number of pitches. End of the episode. I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.